Hello my beautiful Leo friends, how are you today? My name is Donna, welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. We're gonna jump in here to this reading and look at the overall energy. Is the Ace of Cups a new beginning in love? And look at that beautiful, robust love that's spilling over. It looks as though somebody got a little butt hurt or a little bit um, under the weather, feeling a little bit challenged by perhaps a lack of contact, but we're gonna dig in and find out. We see that for the overall energy, Leo, this is, you have a relationship that's very powerful. We see sacred reverence. Both of you are taking this relationship very seriously. You want this to work out. You, you love enjoying this person. We see that you're very much in your feels, and for a fire sign, that's a big deal. Sometimes it can make fire signs a little uncomfortable. But you can tell me what you think in the comments below. I do answer comments, thank you. Awakening genius. So there's something about this relationship that sort of makes your brain fire on all of its neurons. I'm not sure if I'm using the correct... Um, the correct verbiage for that, but it looks as though it's a very inspiring relationship for you, Leo. Taurus energy and Aries energy. We have the opening, the recent energy between the two of you, uh, between you and your love interest, is Hierophant. That's Taurus energy. It is a traditional marriage indicator. You may be very similar in your beliefs, your desires to be married, but also any institutions you may belong, you might have met somebody at work or at church or in some situation in which there was a lot of alignment. It is clarified by the Emperor card. So your person is very much, you and your person as a team are very much determined to see what you can create out of this relationship. It's a relationship with a lot of emotion. Two of Cups energy, the Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. We see the Three of Cups here. A lot of Cancerian nurturing, a lot of sweet pillow talk, talking, wanting to talk all day long, being best friends, just reveling in the joyfulness of the time that you have together. It looks as though you may text a lot. Your person may text a lot. It looks as though you can't wait to see each other. When we look at the energy of the star card, that is healing energy. It's spiritual energy. It's hopes and dreams for love coming true. It is virtually wish fulfillment. We see that with that energy is coming judgment, releasing something from the past, and we also have the justice card here. So for some of you, there may be moving into a new marriage, even though you may be separated or divorced from someone else. So it does appear that this relationship has gone through a transformation, and look at this, letting something go, to have this relationship with one another. And there we have the Empress card, Leo. I'm going to put the Emperor card on top here, but this is powerful love energy. Okay, the Two of Cups, the Star card, the Hierophant. Um, very powerful energy. We see that in the circumstances your person has, is viewing the relationship, is one in which they had to go through something legal to be able to make the choice to be in this relationship. It's also, the alternate meaning of that is staying balanced, but your person may even be thinking of a prenuptial agreement. They may be, but it does look like they're very focused on the potential of the relationship. They're doing some soul searching. When we get the Libra energy, we can look at um, marriage license, prenuptial agreements, buying a home together, renting, but it really is all about your person soul searching to see what level of commitment they're in. The Four of Swords says that they are in this peaceful healing period of time after having left some other situation. Let's see why the sadness is here. Your person is feeling defensive. Why else is this card, Five of Cups, feeling like you've had some losses or your person might, may feel like you've had some losses? Well, we get the two of you pretty solid here. You know, there's uh, leaving things behind. Whatever, you know, whatever was left behind by your partner is um, 
being fulfilled very happily in the relationship with you. When we look at the Fool card, a new beginning, your person doesn't really see you taking movement. They don't see you making any moves. They think that you're waiting for them. You're hanging out there. And you do feel, your person feels when they think of you, they feel very like sexy, attractive. You know, let's have some passion. Let's have some fun. I really like the energy of the sexiness that your person feels towards you is something that's brand new for them. It's not something that they've had before. When they don't see you taking action, they go in full pursuit of the relationship. In their heart space, your person is in love with you. Pisces energy, the Knight of Wands, Leo energy, excuse me, Sagittarius energy. So your person is rushing in. This is Cancerian energy. This person is rushing in to claim this love that they have for you. When we get the chariot card, what do we see? We see this person is tired. They don't want to be alone. Again, we've had the ace, two, and three of cups. Now we have the four. So we see your person is highly motivated to be happy with you. They see you as their happily ever after. Um, a marriage or a relationship based on pure love, perfection, joyfulness. We look and see your person feeling very on guard, very defensive about what to do next. That is, your person has a lot of fire in their belly. They want this happiness and joy with you. They want to celebrate life with their best friend every day. They see you as the final person with whom they would like to have a long-term commitment. They want to level up. We see your person has closed some cycle out in their life. They've left some things behind, including emotional baggage. And they're in this energy of, you know, in it to win it. Nine of Wands twice. So your person has this fire in their belly. They really feel that you are the one. Sacred reverence for this relationship is powerful, Leo. So the energy that is hidden between the two of you, I love this. It's so sweet. Oh my gosh, both of you have not told the other that you think that you couldn't possibly be happier. I said that all sort of in the negatives. What is hidden between the two of you is a tremendous happily ever after love. Your person feels it for you. You feel it for them, Leo. This is mutual Pisces energy. Very, for some of you, this might be a secretive or a secret relationship that hasn't been, you have not introduced this person to your friends or family at this time, but I see you moving in that direction. We get the Eight of Swords energy. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. Spirit is recommending, Leo, that you don't take any action until the time is right. The time looks like it will be right in approximately six weeks to move forward in the relationship. You might even physically move in with your person. It does look like you're going to, with permanence, leave other situations behind. What else will be left behind here with the death card? Seven of coins. An investment that didn't pay off emotionally is being left behind at this point in time because we see that eight of cups. It's very clear that your person has followed Spirit's recommendation. Here we have another four. Wow, nice energy. Four of Wands, 11-11, Twin Flame Energy. Again, Spirit is recommending that you not take any action until you've healed everything, until everything is tidied up, you know, done the right way. You know, certainly doing everything in a very legal, proper way is being called uh, at this time by Spirit for you. So we see the Three of Cups, best friends. Those are the bridesmaids dancing at the wedding. Why is the three of friends, three of friends, the three of friends is here, people. Okay, so I'm gonna take a breath, I'm going too fast. Six of Cups is a reunion. With the Hermit card here, I feel as though there's a possibility for many of you that you've not been able to see each other quite literally for some period of time. It will be different for everyone, but we see your reunion here coming in. Best friends reuniting, your person bringing in a gift, flowers, on bended knee, uh, very much soulmate energy. The Two of Cups earlier was soulmate energy. We have this 
Fool card, a new beginning, a passionate, wonderful, curious, playful new beginning for the two of you, taking the leap of faith, telling each other that you love each other, and throwing caution to the winds. So that is your reading, Leo. I hope you liked it. Send me a love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And tell me if you like this speed shuffle. It would be great to know that. Thanks so much. Take care, Leo. Bye-bye.